we're going to attack the papaya or the papaya the pomegranate so i have a very large bowl of water right here but i'm going to move it off to the side for a second I, oops i have a towel down because i'm not trying to stain things and i watched a video on this i've never done it before so you and i are going to do this together this is a large papaya, uh, papaya, why do I keep calling it a papaya? This is a large pomegranate, and I was looking at videos to see how the tail went right, and you see how it's like sinking in on the sides? That's how you know it's ready. So the first thing we are gonna do is pop into the top, right? So what you need to do, this is what I've learned from watching the videos, is we need to get down to the seeds, which I think I just can hear them. So we're down to the seeds, right? And if you've never seen a pomegranate, the whole thing is just seeds in the center. And then what I have also seen is you cut into it, not all the way down, like you're doing a potato, but you're looking for these membranes so right here and i feel like pomegranates are very much like a uh let's see maybe there like a beet <laughs> we're gonna stain ourselves so most likely i'm gonna end up with pink water but the goal here there's a goal is to not get pomegranate all over my house, right? So now we're gonna open it like this. Just break it apart. I'm gonna leave this on the towel. I'm gonna put this under water and you just kind of pick it apart, right? And the seeds will sink and this pithy stuff, this white membrane will float to the top. So I saw people like beating them with wooden spoons. Yeah, I'm not getting that mess all over my kitchen. Uh, no, thank you. Now we'll, you know, have to get our hands in here after and pick off this membrane. If, from what I read online, these are gonna be good in the refrigerator for one to two weeks. I could also freeze them. My goal is to have them for Christmas, but I also want to have this video out. So I'm just trying to leave my hands underwater and rub them nicely, trying not to break the seeds to get them to release the membrane to release the pomegranate seeds. They seem ripe. I'm not, ooh, see, I already got red juice all over my kitchen. It just went splattering that way. But they're so good. And I didn't find them at my store already seeded. I know they sell them. I just haven't seen them. And I think people like them around the holidays. They seem This seems to be the season. Because I feel like that's why they're at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to continue to pluck these apart. And I will be right back once I have this whole thing taken apart. All right, it took about 10 minutes, but I was able to get all the seeds out. There is red all over my counter and my clothes. So I'm gonna run and throw that in the, in the wash. Then I'm just kind of running my hands through here. And if I see something white at the bottom, it just means it's attached to a piece of berry. That's all. So, I mean, the pith is not gonna hurt you, whatever you call it. Okay, so I think we're good. And then I'm going to strain it. I'm just trying to strain, like rinse off any, any of the membrane here. And I think I'm good. I mean, there is some membrane, but like I said, it's not gonna hurt you. And then we're going to do this one more time. Holy macaroni. That ooh, was a large pomegranate, guys. I have some seeds that fell into the sink, which is fine. I'll catch them all. But that is a lot of pomegranate. 
I'm gonna like get as much of the water out as I can. And then I'm going to put it into my bowl. Holy macaroni. That's a two or a four cup. I think that's a two cup bowl. And then you just eat them. There is a seed in the middle, you just chew it up. Mm, 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 mm. Great source of vitamins and nutrients. Plus, look how festive it looks. I'm gonna put it on my charcuterie board like ornaments. So that is it. That is how I took care of my pomegranate. Now I'm gonna get some bleach spray and take care of my counter.